friends uh, this is Nirmal for NormalTV.com and in this video we'll have a look at the new features added with the new update for Windows Phone 8 so this is the GDR2 update from Microsoft along with an Amber update from uh, Nokia so quite a lot of new features have been added to this update uh, so we'll have a look at uh, this uh, the new features uh, for Windows phones so the Amber update has been already started uh, the rollout and it will be completed uh, globally by September end. And uh, in case you have a known uh, Lumia Windows Phone, you can also get that uh, GDR2 update from Microsoft. Uh, it has been rolled out by other uh, manufacturers uh, for Windows Phones. So let's have a quick look at uh, the new features added by both uh, uh, GDR2 and also the Lumia uh, update uh, uh, by Nokia, which is called the Amber update. So let's have a look at uh, the new features. So let's have a look at the new features uh, in this update. So first we'll see the new features added by Microsoft uh, in the GDR2 update. So the prominent one is the availability of uh, DataSense. DataSense has been already available on uh, Windows Phone uh, for Verizon Wireless. Now this has been rolled out globally. So DataSense is an app which allows you to tra track your data usage uh, from both cellular as well as Wi-Fi usage. You can also monitor the apps which use your data and you can keep a check on the data say in case you are on a limited uh, data plan you can keep track of your data usage so data sense allows you to set limits uh, monthly limits or daily limits and then uh, based on your usage you can uh, get uh, alerts that uh, your usage is uh, above the limit so right now i have set the limit so you can set the limit uh, for your data usage and uh, and uh, you can set the day when uh, the limit will be reset every month and then you can also set uh, uh, the apps to restrict data usage when you are crossing the limit or you are already nearby the limit so in that case you don't uh, cross the limit and then uh, which will end up in uh, excess uh, money being charged by your cellular operator so the usage pattern shows uh, the usage from cellular as well as Wi-Fi and also the apps which use your data the most you can see all the details you can see the amount of data consumed both in Wi-Fi as well as uh, cellular uh, data so those are the uh, options available in uh, data sense so data sense is a really useful uh, feature on your Windows phone and allows you to track the uh, data usage now the second the most uh, uh, important uh, feature added is uh, the availability of uh, FM radio so FM radio was uh, initially available with Windows Phone 7 devices but when uh, WPA devices were rolled out, rolled out uh, Microsoft uh, had uh, skipped this feature but with the GDR2 update uh, you get back this feature and uh, you can uh, you can now listen to your favorite FM stations uh, from Windows phones so this uh, this has been added to music and videos so when you when you fetch the music and videos you can see the radio option at the bottom so you can see the radio uh, let me just take the radio so so right now you need uh, an antenna uh, I mean the headphone to uh, use as an antenna so this will connect to your station uh, FM stations uh, once you connect the antenna so it has very simple UI uh, you can just uh, slide uh, and then uh, search for the stations and then once you're selected you can just add uh, stations to your favorite using uh, this option and then you can view all the favorite stations from uh, uh, this uh, favorite uh, option say right now I have set three stations as presets so you can access your uh, favorite stations from here so very simple interface uh, and uh, uh, you can you can you can search for your favorite stations and then uh, listen to them from your Windows phones so that is a pretty handy feature now the third of third uh, 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 new feature is the improvements to the camera uh, so uh, already the camera app uh, is pretty good on windows phones so now there has been update to camera uh, so uh, there are several updates uh, one of them is uh, it has imp uh, there is an improvement in uh, uh, the camera when you zoom in uh, in the uh, photo the zoom in the photos in the viewfinder and on certain models there are there is also a feature wherein you can set uh, an additional uh, camera app say for example uh, if you want to use the third party camera app as your default camera uh, you can set it uh, from uh, the photos and cameras option 
so here you can see uh, pressing the camera button opens right now you can set uh, the, the camera built-in app or you can set the Nokia Pro Cam or you can, you can set the Nokia Smart Cam uh, but this uh, this feature is not available for all the phones uh, only certain phones will get the feature uh, then uh, uh, you, there, are, there are several improvements to the camera app as well so the camera app has been improved in uh, uh, the GDR2 update uh, then uh, you have uh, other other improvements like uh, support for uh, Google's uh, CalDAV and CardDAV protocols. This means that you can st uh, s uh, simply start using Gmail and other Google services uh, uh, the way it was uh, previously since uh, Google had uh, mm, stop the support for exchange server so now with the with the addition of uh, caldav and cardav support protocols you can uh, get back your gmail and all the other few, uh, google services uh, back on windows phones then another improvement has been to the other storage so you can see the other storage one of was one of the major issues uh, with windows phones uh, other storage was uh, basically uh, other storage or rather other storage is a basically a cache for uh, your windows phone where your system uses this uh, area along with uh, SkyDrive which caches your uh, files uh, or photos locally so with uh, GDR2 uh, there has been an improvement to this uh, other storage and now it uses less data and it automatically clears uh, when you need uh, storage on your phone so right now we can see uh, the other storage has been improved so basically it is a temporary cache for email attachments games apps and other uh, uh, uses of uh, other uh, uses from uh, your OS so this this will uh, this will clear automatically now so right now you can see my phone has uh, now if you click on this you can see and the other storage you can uh, have the details right now the other storage is at uh, 3.96 GB even though it's still higher it used to be around uh, 7 or 8 GBs now it has been reduced to uh, uh, half of the size so it's still there is uh, improvement in uh, needed in other storage but still it has uh, has had a good improvement uh, with this GDR2 update so apart from this uh, there is also improvement to xbox music since we don't have xbox music in our region i can't uh, demo it here so those are uh, some of the other features then uh, there is improvement to bluetooth as well uh, some issues with bluetooth has been sorted out so those are the major uh, features uh, from microsoft uh, in the gdr2 update now let's have a look at uh, the uh, Amper update from Nokia and the features it adds to the Windows Phone 8 devices I mean the Lumia device so now let's have a look at the new features added by Nokia in the Amber update so this Amber update is uh, specifically for the Lumia phones from Nokia and it sits on top of the GDR2 update so uh, you get all the updates uh, from Microsoft and on top of that you get ad added uh, features from uh, Lumia I mean Nokia in the, G in the Amber update so uh, one of the major uh, improvements is uh, to the camera you you have uh, two new camera apps from uh, Nokia for uh, Lumia phones uh, one is the Nokia Pro Cam and second one is the Nokia Smart Cam so Nokia Pro Cam was first, first uh, debuted on uh, the uh, Lumia 1020 and now it's available for uh, 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 Lumia 925, Lumia 920 uh, as well as uh, Lumia 928 so this uh, camera app uh, is extremely useful and it has a lot of features as well as a new UI so you can see um, dial kind of a mechanism and you can set uh, the features like white balance, uh, autofocus, ISO um, and uh, other, f other details and uh, you can uh, you can take uh, best shots from uh, using this uh, app so this is uh, one uh, added uh, app from uh, Nokia which is uh, based on the Amber update for other devices and uh, second one is uh, the the Nokia smart cam the Nokia smart cam is a camera which uh, which, uh, which can be used to shoot uh, fi pictures uh, uh, which are on motion I mean it has a quite a lot of features uh, can create amazing effects uh, for your photos so these are the options you can create the best shot so you can see the demo uh, from a moving object a move, uh, the sh from a 
moving object you can take the best shot of the moving object then you have the action shot which creates the action replay of the moving object uh, then you have uh, motion uh, motion focus this uh, creates an effect uh, so that uh, your uh, uh, moving object is focused then you have the best faces and if you if you are taking a photo of uh, people you can select the best faces of uh, the people in the photo so the perfect shot then you have you can remove moving objects from the photo Say, so the, the, this demo sums up all the features of uh, Nokia smart cam uh, then apart from this uh, you have added features like the Nokia glance or uh, Nokia uh, double tap to wake feature so for that you need to go to settings and uh, you can see the option uh, display plus touch and you can see uh, the new option uh, you can see double tap to wake the phone so we'll see a quick demo of this uh, feature and there's also glance uh, Nokia glance so Nokia glance uh, will show you the uh, clock as well as uh, uh, the mode of uh, the phone that is if it is charging or if it is uh, connected to a um, uh, car charger etc and uh, the details you can set the night mode for the glance screen that means uh, glance screen will not be working during the night mode you can st uh, set the start time and end time for the glance so and along with a uh, double tap to wake feature so let's have a look at uh, the double tap and Nokia glance so you can see the Nokia glance screen right now uh, the, you can see the clock and uh, the, uh, the Nokia glance screen has uh, um, uh, works on uh, sensors so in case you uh, put the phone in your pocket it will automatically turn it off based on the sensor say so let's see let's see this in action so right now I have covered the sensor and you can see see the glance screen will uh, uh, switch off once uh, the phone is in the pocket or in, is it in the bag and when, when it uh, comes out to your hand uh, the, the Nokia glance screen will once again wake up so this is an additional feature from uh, Nokia with the Amber update now the double tap to wake instead of using the power button to wake the phone you can just uh, double tap on the display and it will wake the phone so let's have one look at this feature once again so just double tap on the uh, screen and you can see the phone um, waking up uh, from sleep and you don't need to use the power button so that's again an added feature then you have the uh, option of uh, FM radio as I said uh, before this is rolled out from the uh, GDR2 update from Microsoft along with that you have an option to flip to silence flip to silence is basically a feature wherein you can quickly silence the incoming call by just flipping the phone so again it works uh, on the basis of uh, this uh, sensor so this flip to silence feature can be set from, from the audio go to settings audio and you can see uh, the option flip to silence you can see it under the enhancements see right now the flip to silence mode is uh, switched on uh, so you can just flip your phone uh, to face it down to silence the ringer but make sure but uh, remember that the call won't be disconnected it will just silence the ringer and uh, so so in case you are in a meeting and just forgotten to make, put it put the phone into silent mode you can just flip the phone like this and then the ringer will be silenced uh, automatically using the uh, option available in uh, Nokia so those are the new features added by uh, uh, Nokia with Amber update so overall a uh, very useful update uh, for Windows Phone users there are tons of features added uh, with this uh, although this is in the major update there are lots of features added so uh, GDR plus Amber update is being rolled out currently the first phase of rolled out has uh, started in uh, Asia and Middle East um, and so it will be rolled out in other countries as well and uh, some of the um, countries it will be rolled out based on the carrier uh, so so you have to wait for the update but Nokia has confirmed that uh, the update will be rolled out to all uh, Lumia users by September end so so that's all in uh, this Amber update if you have any questions uh, or doubts on this uh, Amber update uh, do post it in comments I uh, will be glad to help you out with the uh, Amber update so that's all guys so thanks for watching the video